Hello and welcome back to the Ether Keep. My name is Nick Nurse, and today we're talking about the power of Vantage on Ether Red's offense. I think it has really spiked in value, and we are doing that through the powers of Winter Dimitri, who is the best Vantage unit? Question mark. The easiest Vantage unit? Question mark. The most readily available Vantage unit at this moment in time question mark and the least investment required vantage unit question mark any or all of these things may be true and you can debate me on them down there in the comments while you are pressing the like button and pressing the subscribe button don't press the unsubscribe button but press the subscribe button i would appreciate it a lot uh this is also in celebration of joel Embiid's return to the nba but you don't have to care about that to keep watching please don't click off because i mentioned sports one and a half times in this video already. Okay, so what do we see on this team? Nobody had Hardy Bearing. Love that. However, we do have Fallen Maria, who creates two problems. Problem number one, Dazzling Staff. Might as well have Hardy Bearing. Dimitri cannot Vantage Sweep her. She also does weirdly a lot of damage a lot of the time, and that's not amazing for him to deal with. Problem number two, Drive Miracle which means that one of these other jokers can live a shot from him, setting Dimitri up to get popped and not survive and continue the sweep. So the mission we're setting up for here, Air has Smite, is to go in, break the healing tower, Canto out, wait another turn, Smite back in, hit Maria, Canto out, block this tile right here so that no one else can get through to my support units, and we win. Now we're getting in position, making sure that Dimitri is all buffed up, even with Robin, whose effects will all be cancelled out by Dimitri's General Dream Plus. Turns out nullifying penalties and flipping them don't work together. Must take a genius to figure that out. I don't know why I kept General Dream Plus on PNE for this team, it's just the way it is. Sometimes you need the support from across the map with this stuff, sometimes you don't. What's I don't. Next? Just just roll with it. If anything, it shows how strong the unit is. So, what I hadn't realized was uh, the way the ranges would expand and how I was sort of rushing this plan, not set up 100% the way I needed to, didn't think enough steps ahead. So, Bramimund was... Someone was going to have a shot on so. Peony, or they were going to start hitting a Dimitri who had not engaged his vantage status yet. So I was forced to move a turn earlier than I expected. But that means we already spent our Canto, so my plan to get Fallen Maria was in shambles. Uh, What's next? The only option I actually had was to take down Bramimund, because otherwise Bramimund would be threatening Peony, and that is not a fight Peony wins, even with her amazing combat refine. In doing this, I am secretly a genius, because... We do eat the miracle. Miracle is off the board. Or at least Maria's miracle is off the board. Because that's all I was thinking about. Now it says 39, looks more like it did about 12. Now Maria's miracle is off the board. But Hell still has miracle, and Hell still hits resistance, and Hell still could be a problem, but she's not because Dimitri has a kind of ridiculous amount of DR for his job. When you think about, like, the extent of damage he's able to bring out. One-shotting the new Alir through Scowl somehow? I truly don't know how Special Jump and Scowls interact at this point. Here's a special from Maria. Holy panic. It said 39. She got a special on top of that. Less than half. I, I really think that actually, like, these just happen to be, like, my the bonus mythic and my merged mythics, right? Which is why I'm warning three res mythics, but on Dimitri, having that res is actually pretty nice! Because he stacks a huge number of stats between his weapon, his preferred B skill, his DR effects. I think he has one built into a skill and then also gets uh, the dodge status from another skill. So he gets more than 50% DR. Um, and we get... Panic Smoke, full penalty doubler, to just really swing things. Good morning. He is truly a Vantage Tank, which is a term that I think is thrown around a lot, but I've always thought of a Vantage Tank specifically as a unit that sweeps as much as they can, but can also take those one or two hits to get through. 
And I think that's really what makes Quinter Dimitri such a strong unit, right? His ability to sweep and charge specials and stuff is really strong, but it's not even the strongest part of his game, which is sort of crazy. Well, I mean, it is, but it's like... That strength isn't what makes him so good, it's also his ability to take that hit, be ready for that thing you didn't expect, because nothing about this map went the way I thought it would. I didn't consider Hell's Miracle, I didn't consider that I wouldn't be getting Maria off the board. Everything may have even gone better than it would have with my original plan, the way this went. And both pots are readily available. Dimitri, move a little extra to get that special charged up and we get him out of here because you know Dimitri doesn't just unalive women he murders them or whatever the copy pasta is no shade to anyone just trying to have a little fun is Corrin a woman is she an adult we'll say sure for the meme all right on to the next match we are showing that screen just so you can see four minutes ago <laughs> You walked into my house and immediately caught the smoke. Pretty sure you can see the replays, uh, the defense recap I posted earlier. Pretty sure this person went to Dimitri me, so it's only right that I went to Dimitri them back. There was also someone I rematched who did not win to Dimitri me, and I did win to Dimitri them, I'm pretty sure, so I'm sorry if this was that one. I also Edelgarded someone who Edelgarded me, so it's really eye for an eye these days in AR offense. Anyway, um, Yunaka has Hardy Bearing. Which is scary, because what I was just talking about is how Dimitri is a good unit for Vantage, who also has a lot of DR to survive the hardy burying shenanigans. Uh, and Yunaka is a unit who cuts pretty much all your DR and has hardy burying this time, so like theoretically she beats him, right? But the thing is that with these super nukes we're getting these days, none of them beat everything, right? All of them have a weakness and most of them do beat pretty much anything they attack into. But when they find those things that they don't beat, they usually lose really hard. And there are like specific archetypes or positions, strategies, etc. that each of these things does lose to. Except for maybe uh, Valentine's Leon. I haven't figured that guy out yet. But the thing that I know Yunaka has trouble with is Yunaka just have a lot of defense, right? She doesn't stack the most defense she doesn't get like crazy additional special damage she just has enough stats pierces dr can make things really hard for a lot of the units we've been taught were good for a long time uh, you will also notice that even though i am the most mad person in the world about gambling traps i should have just ran into that one notice my 66 hp it was a hex trap this was safe we have four mythics and an hp seal hp attack speed seal because I learned that 66 HP lets you do things that <laughs> make me mad, and now I am the one making the world mad, and I think I've earned the right. Yes. Right, boss. So we get the KO on note there because it happened to be available. We could guarantee all the statuses we need for Dimitri, but now we have to survive Yunaka. Thankfully, Vasir comes in, cuts her DR period, like. Uh, Yunaka's DR Pierce is based on being fully solo, so she gets a little bit less here. Even if we didn't have that advantage, we would have cleanly lived and very cleanly one-shot on Retaliation, so the plan is working. No one else here had Hardy Mary or anything like it to get around, so anyone else who walks in is going straight down. Here comes Shamir, one of my favorite units of the game. I was trying to find a way to make her work. Currently, not sure if she's there at the moment. Don't love taking her out, but I do love winning, so worth it. Worth it. And since this is the last match of the week, we can get a little tiny bit cute with it here. Uh, Dimitri is pretty free there. We can run right at Byleth. For some reason, this works. I thought he had Scowl. Maybe he doesn't always. They don't always. I should probably read these things and understand them better, but it didn't happen, and this is a recording, so it won't be happening. <laughs> Let's see now. Not today, anyway. Um, yeah, it's the last match of the week. Don't need the pots, so we can just pop Azura like the rest of them. And that's gonna be game.
another successful scheme. So, I don't know, it's just a little video about the power of Vantage, sort of how you can, by understanding how these units work, you can do more than you might think you are able to with Vantage, you can overcome the counters to Vantage, you can bumble your way to beating counters you didn't see to Vantage or your own stupidity, and it's a lot of fun and very satisfying to do. Maybe this is helpful, maybe this is at least fun. I had a great time, hope you did too. Uh, press the good buttons on the way out, I'll be back soon with more. Till then.